Hi, I'm Mrs. Bennett. Congratulations, you have earned a high enough GPA to qualify to apply for National Honor Society. National Honor Society is a nationally recognized organization for scholars who have the academic and community involvement to participate. It is an honor for juniors and seniors at Smyrna High School, and you have to have a 3.6 GPA to apply. So congratulations in already having amazing academic standards. You also, to be a National Honor Society, have to participate in school activities like clubs or sports. You have to have held leadership positions in those clubs or sports. You have to have been involved in community service and you have earned awards or recognition either at your job or through school clubs or possibly through church activities or organizations like Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. There are lots of different ways to check the boxes on this NHS application and there's a whole additional video that will show you how to fill out the application. I just wanted to make a video to say hi since we're not able to meet in person this year for me to answer some questions. I am in room 75. If you are an in-person student, you want to stop by and ask questions. And Mrs. Levins is in room 76. She's also a sponsor. If you are a distance learner and have questions, or even if you're in person and just would rather email me, our email addresses are on the page where you are watching this video. So please do ask questions so that we can help you fill out the application well. It can seem a little tricky and confusing how to fill it out, and we want everybody to have their best opportunity to get into the club. There is not a limit on how many members we will accept. We will accept all qualified applicants. So please do fill out the application and get that turned in by the date on your cover letter. So why would you want to be a National Honor Society? That is a great question. It seems like a process to have to go through to be part of this club. Because National Honor Society is a nationally recognized organization, your participation in it looks really good on college applications and job resumes for that matter, because people know that it is not just a club you can join when you want to, that you have to earn your way into it. And so it automatically lets people know that you are a top scholar and community member. You also get to, um, it's kind of like a reward National Honor Society is. And so you join it late in high school at the end of your senior or junior year. And it really just is the reward for all the work you've put into in your other clubs and organizations. So as a member, you get a gold seal on your diploma and you also get to wear a fancy white stole that makes you stand out from all the other graduates in the auditorium or on the football field for this year. The participation in NHS this year looks pretty different than it has in previous years. We aren't able to go on any field trips and the school isn't having activities like carnival or um, like the coming home in school carnival that we sometimes do as well. So unfortunately activities are kind of limited. And so this year we're a pretty low key club. We meet once a month and I am hoping to have some another service opportunity this spring. We did stockings for the Stewartsboro preschool class in December. We usually do a Christmas party with them, but of course we couldn't do that this year. So if you're a senior, then, then membership for you will really be a matter of maybe one community service project or one some kind of service project and then getting to wear the swag at graduation. If you are a junior, then hopefully next year we'll be able to do more of those normal kinds of activities. We have no idea, of course, what next year will look like, but if it is a normal year, then we'll be able to do carnival and we'll be able to um, do other service projects around the community, like the Stewart's Bro Christmas party. So um, really, it's just kind of a low key year this year. That is a good thing for some of you though, because I also want to make it clear that we and our faculty council who scores the applications are aware that this year looks a lot different and it has for about an entire year now. So we know that you have not had the opportunity to go out and do community service projects. So many things got canceled in the spring and so many clubs are doing far less this year. 
So as we are scoring your applications, we will take into account the fact that you've had almost an entire year where you were not able to go out and participate in things. So don't worry about that if there's like a gap in the things that you've done and you're writing about things that you did an entire year and a half ago. As long as they took place during your high school years, they count. And also keep in mind that it's an equal playing field. Everybody's in that circumstance. None of us have been able to go out and do the things that we ordinarily would. So please don't let the lack of activity over this past year make you feel like you're not qualified for National Honor Society because everyone has been stunted in the things that we can do over this past year. Um, I think that pretty much covers the introductory material that I wanted to share with you. But again, congratulations for your amazing scholarship. I hope that you will apply to National Honor Society and watch the video below this one for some details about filling out that application. Send me an email if you have any questions or stop by and see me anytime.